In today's video, I'm gonna do a workout haul because I kind of over shopped when I went to Marshalls and decided to get a bunch of activewear and my justification for it was slightly, maybe I'll go to the gym more if I have workout clothes I wanna work out in. And slightly because I'm like, it's also another option to wear when I'm going out instead of dressing up more, I could just wear casual workout clothes. So why not? In reality, I just wanted to shop and workout clothes was my outlet. But I have been working out at the gym more, so these outfits have definitely gotten their use and will get their workout use. So I'm just going to show you each one of the pieces and kind of give you opinions because I could lie to you and tell you this is a Lululemon haul, Nike, Adidas, whatever like nicer brand that you want to speak of when it comes to activewear. I could lie to you and say that that's what this activewear is, but in reality, my budget doesn't really work with Lululemon's prices. So yes, ideally I would love to have that, but I know a lot of you guys watching aren't able to afford that either. And so it's great just to see the stuff that maybe you will go out and shop and get because these are all from Marshalls. Their brands you'll see at Marshalls and Ross and Burlington, all those different discount stores will usually have the similar brands to what I got. So I'm just gonna go into every piece and show you. And then at the end, I wanna mention one of my workout things that I've been noticing a big difference on. So I've been working out and obviously I've been doing a lot of different workouts and I work out in a gym, but one of the most beneficial workouts I've found for building my glutes is actually a workout that doesn't involve any equipment. So at the end of the video, I'm just gonna show you that workout and show it to you in one of the workout items I have here here but let's get right into it and show you what I got here so I got everything from sports bras to shoes to activewear pants so let's see where I want to start <laughs> Okay, so seeing as I am actually wearing one of the sports bras right now, I will start with sports bras. And this is the other one. I have not worn the other color yet. So this is the one in gray. It kind of has more of it. It's not like a solid gray. It's I don't know what you technically call that, but it has like a gradient to it. There we go. So it's kind of like gray. So it has that look right there. And it is the same matching one with the one I'm wearing right now. And sometimes I wear this sports bra with the zipper actually down. So I wear it like this. And then I just have a necklace in between. And obviously I don't go to the gym with makeup on and a necklace, but if I'm going out and just kind of like chilling in active wear, this is kind of what I will do. And just have it partially, you know, zip down just to have a little extra look to it. But obviously when I'm at the gym, I usually keep it up just to, for secure reasons. And then I like how it came in a two pack right here. It just came on like the little hangers right here with both of them. Where did I put the receipt? I was totally gonna show you guys how much each thing costs because I had the receipt with me. Now I gotta go find the receipt so I could tell you. Okay, back into position. I found my receipt. So I spent a lot of money at Marshalls. I really did, but not all of it was activewear, but most of it was activewear. So let's go right into it. And that one was $14.99, though a week later, I saw that they were on sale for like seven something, so basically like half the price, but I decided not to go back and get a price match just because it wasn't really worth the effort to me, and I would've kind of had to figure out if I can even do it, because I'm not even sure if Marshalls does price matching, like in the sense of, well, not price matching, but like return and a repurchase at the lower price, but it wasn't worth the effort of driving all the way out there again. And so I didn't, but I could have gotten these ones for seven something and a two pack and they are great. They have cups in them and I believe these ones are removable just like the other ones. Yeah, they are. So they have a little removable spot to take out the padding so you can wear them with or without padding. And I have the other sports bras I got, which I did remove one of the paddings on them. But this one is 90 degree by Reflex. So this is their logo right here. And I believe almost all the stuff I got maybe from this brand. Actually, I think it's just the sports bras. I think the other things were a different brand. But again, here is the other color of this one. And the other two sports bras I got, I wore both of them already. So here I will show you. They are a two-piece set by that same brand. And it looks like this. So it's more of an open concept. It has an X back like that. And it has a little hole right here, just, you know, breathability. And then it looks like this. And it has a little scrunch bottom right here. But this is not the same as like the scrunch bottom on the one I'm wearing now. It doesn't scrunch in between the same ways. And then the back 
see this is like thicker straps this is more like a bra style so it has like bra straps but thicker and then it is very similar to the other one but it has like a different scrunch in the middle so it came in black and purple you can get different color sets same with this one but these are the ones i decided on because this one is a purple too but it's not as vibrant as this one is so i've already worn this so sorry you could probably see like my sweat marks but you know it happens. I just love the look of how it fits. I'm not large chested at all and it looks so cute yet it's still supportive because even if you have small boobs you know that working out can still sometimes get things moving and you need that security just like you would with bigger breasts but just obviously not as much but you still need it so you can't just wear something that's cute and not supportive so it is cute and supportive and it obviously came in black too so i like to have black because it's like a solid color it just goes with everything it goes with the color for leggings this one you have to wear with you know like black leggings unless you got a uh yoga pants to match the same so you're most likely going to be wearing black and then this one you can wear any of your colorful leggings with so i love that it had that and speaking of leggings let's go into the leggings i have this pair right here it is by yogalicious Ooh, yogalicious and so this is yogalicious right here Oh, and by the way, I got this, I don't think I told you, I got the sports bra. This one in small, and then I got this one in, I believe, a medium. Yes, I got this one in a medium. So I got the other one a little bit bigger because it's not, I wanted this one to be like tight with the zipper so I could unzip it and have it still tight and conforming. And then the other one I wanted a little looser and be able to just, you know, stretch and fit comfortably. And then as for my yoga pants, I got them in small because I want them as tight as possible. So these are the Logo Delicious and small, and they are super cute. They're just long like this. And I love how they fit. They don't fit like as well as other ones I've had, but they're definitely like, comfortable and loungy. And I wish you could feel this because it is so like, not soft soft, but like comfortable soft, like yoga pants like soft. And then one of my favorite parts because my other leggings that I got, I don't believe any of them have this besides this one. And it is so vital and I've seen so many leggings now that do this and I think it's so important is having the little pocket on the side for your phone. It's so convenient. I don't keep my phone in there a lot since when I'm working out, but like just walking from like the car to the gym or to wherever I'm going, it's nice just to have that space to put, you know, my cards and my phone. And so I really like that about this. It is such a cute color too. It looks great. I usually just am able to wear it with like my black or like white um, sports bras, but that's about it. Or I wear it with my like full length tank tops. So the other two I got are kind of similar. So I will show you them both. And I don't know if the camera's even gonna pick up the difference between them two. Can you tell the difference? But let's see what brands these two were. I have the Yogalicious Lux brand. So it's like the Yogalicious like the other yoga pants, but with the Lux at the end. So that's that right there. And again, they are a small. So these ones do not have the pockets on the side. They don't have the extra stitching to be more conforming they're kind of more like yoga pants you can work out in but they wouldn't be able to hold up to like really rigorous stuff they're more for like lounging yoga yoga obviously yoga so more for like lounging and i can wear them when i'm not at the gym and they'll still be comfortable and great and they have this more like gradient like the sports bra kind of does where it's not like a solid color and then these ones are the basically those same yoga pants but in black so these are a solid black and i like that because i can wear them with anything 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 at all and they will look great because they're just a solid black and it matches with everything so that's the one thing i like it does not have the side pocket unfortunately so they don't work as well but they are still super comfortable they have the little like um where is it they have the little tiny pocket in the top but i don't really find those as useful because i can't even stick my phone in there well actually no i think maybe i could let's see my phone's kind of big though let's see oh yeah i could technically fit my phone in it but it would be sticking out like that much 
thank you for making it this far in the video. We do have more items we're gonna go through, but before that happens, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below. I am new at this, so they will get better in time, and I'd love you to stick around for the journey of all my videos. I do a new video every single Sunday and once in a while on Wednesdays. I do a lot of videos on adulting from helping you, inspire you, motivate you, give you tips and recommendations on figuring out adulting as I am figuring it out too. In my daily life in California where I am wearing all of these things outside and getting good use out of them and let's just get right into the rest of the items. Obviously you cannot get yoga pants and not have shoes to wear with them. I was wearing the most colorful sneakers ever for the longest time and I end up getting a pair of black and white ones that have like that gradient thing like this does where it's not like a solid black it's like gray black gray black gray black but i feel like those didn't match with as many things and then when i was there getting stuff i saw these pair of shoes and i almost didn't get them just because they are sketchers and i'm not the biggest sketchers fan at all but they were the exact look i was looking for at an affordable price so i decided i caved i got a pair of sketchers i love them i wear them all the time they're super comfortable they look like this. They're just a solid white at the bottom, probably not as white after I was outside walking yesterday, but they are solid white at the bottom. They have a black top. Ignore the green in the bottom. Obviously, you don't see that when you're wearing them. And then they have this little like strap, like tightening strap, just to make it so it stays on your feet well. But then the rest of it is like a mesh. So it's kind of weird when you're not wearing socks because you can kind of see your toes. Not like fully, just kind of, but I like how breathable they are. So it is like that mesh all the way across the top, all the way on the sides, just besides on the back, it's not. So I just like, it's super breathable, super comfortable, and they look cute even with not active wear. So yesterday I went out walking in Venice. I'll probably show you the outfit I was wearing and I had these bad boys on. They just look cute, match with everything, super comfortable because when you're walking around Around in a beach town or walking around anywhere for a long period of time you want to wear your cute sandals but then your feet do not want you to you will not walk around all day you'll be so uncomfortable get yourself a pair of solid sneakers they'll be great for the gym and they'll be great for walking around when you're just you know hanging out with friends and exploring and so that was the main reason why I got these is because they will have I'll get so much use out of them even though they're sketchers and I'm not a fan I'm a fan of this specific shoe so I am a big reliever I'm not buying based on brands but buying based on something you really like and so this was something I really liked and I caved and I bought them and I totally forgot to go into prices or stuff. So these bad boys right here were, let's see, kind of don't remember spending this much on these, but I guess I caved because I really liked them. So these were $24. Obviously, originally they are more, but with at Marshall's, I got the sneakers for $24. So I got the non-solid black yoga pants for $13. They were on sale though. So even for Marshalls, they weren't even Marshalls prices. They were on sale on top of sale. And then for the solid black ones, I got them for $14.99, which is actually the same price as the sports bras, oddly. And then for these pair of yoga plants, the colored ones, I got them for $16.99, obviously cheaper, but these were the most expensive. And I felt like they were worth to be more expensive because they're, you know, the colored pair and not like a solid black. Even though you're gonna end up using the solid black ones more, I feel like the fun colorful ones usually end up being more money. And so that is the price of all of those yoga pants right there. I really didn't want to show you just the things I got on my most recent shopping trip because that doesn't give you a good idea of everything that I wear to the gym. Obviously, I'm not going to show you all the items I wear all the time, but I want to go into some of the classic pieces that I felt were, were a great investment pieces that I wear all the time when I go to the gym. And one of the first ones is actually this hat right here. And I wear it less often to the gym and more often on hikes. It is a little bit dirty because it needs to be washed again, but that is just an Adidas hat. It's so simple and nice and I love it. It looks great when I'm on a hike, hides my messy hair that I'm getting all sweaty in because it's hot outside. And it also kind of just blocks some of the sun away. So I think it is a great piece. It matches with basically everything. And yes, it is more of a brand name item, but I got it for a great price at Marshall's 
or Ross, I can't remember which, but it was about 15 bucks or less. And I have used it so much. So I definitely think you should get yourself a hat like this. I wore it when I did my San Francisco drive back. So I actually vlogged the whole entire drive down the coast going on highway um, 101 and one. And there was so many beautiful hikes on the way down. And most of them, I was wearing this because it was so sunny and I had to hide some of it and hide my sweaty grossiness from being in the car and going from hike to hike to hike. And then the other ones are these right here. So I've actually had these for a while and I definitely wanna get more of them. I have my mom to thanks for them. I stole them from my mom years ago. Well, not literally stole, like my mom gave them to me because my mom wasn't wearing them anymore. And so I got them. And the funny thing about these two items is the brand. So they are, I think both champion. Let's see, I think this one's inside out. Yeah, I took some of the stuff in my laundry basket. Don't judge me. There's all these fuzzies from the laundry. But either way, I took this out of my laundry basket to film this for you guys today because I didn't feel like doing laundry beforehand. So some of them I have definitely worked out. Yeah. So the funny part about this, and it is, let's see, is it both? I think it's just one of the tank tops, but I have a few of them. And that is that it is Champion. And so these were my mom from years ago when Champion used to be the items sold at Kmart in like the back and nobody wanted them. People didn't really want to like walk around with the brand showing that they're wearing Champion. They kind of like, you know, hid the logo, put their hair over it type of thing, which I hate that that ever happened in the first place. But it's very funny that I own Adidas from when Adidas was at Kmart, not Adidas at like the mall that costs way more than it used to. So this tank top right here is just a solid black tank top and it just is a full length, has the crossbody back. Razorback, is that what it's called? Razorback? Someone comment down below and tell me if you know. I believe it's called the Razorback on the back of these tank tops. And it is just such a classic piece to have because you're not always wanting to wear a sports bra. You sometimes want to hide the tummy more than just hiding it over underneath your yoga pants, over. Underneath your yoga pants, you kind of want to hide it fully or you just want to be a little more modest. You're going out or something like that. You don't want to be fully covering it. Whatever the reason, I go out in my sports bra sometimes out in public and then I also sometimes go out in this. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. And so I think it's good just to have a solid black tank top like this. Obviously, you don't need to have Adidas, but just having a solid black one you can wear with any of your yoga pants. And then also, when you just need a quick outfit, you can throw this on with jeans and it just looks cute. I think almost everyone looks better in active wear. I'm not really sure why. It's just, it fits so well and we look so cute and you can move so easily and you're so comfortable. And then this one does have the little like sports bra, like I don't really want to call it elastic at the bottom so that it kind of just hold thing in, holds things in better. And then I also have a solid white one. So I think it's good to have the black and white. And so here's just a white one with a V-neck instead of the, you know, just regular U-neck like this. So this is a white one right here. I'm not actually sure what brand it is. It's kind of faded. It's hard to tell. Probably like a no-name brand, but another great, just solid color tank top is a necessity. And that brings me into this pair of yoga pants. Wait, I grabbed one of them, not the other ones. I think these are my favorite ones though. Yeah, these are my favorite ones. So these yoga pants right here, I will usually either wear with my black or my white tank top because it works for both. And that is these pair of leggings right here. I also got these at Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, one of those um, brand stores. And it has this cute white pattern right here. Then it goes the same pattern in black and then it'll be hard to show you on camera, but it has this part that is see-through, but obviously I'm gonna show you them on so you'll see that little detail right there. And I think it just adds to the look when it has like this see-through part that you can look and see your skin. And it just looks great on. They're super cute. They are, they fit great. They're actually probably one of my favorite ones, even out of the ones I got recently. I like these better. They just fit so well. And they are, let's see what brand they are. They're Athletic Collection by 76 International. Who knows, but they are small. They're super cute. It has that same color on, um, same color, has that same pattern on the inside. It has that little tiny pocket thing like the other ones do, but not the one on the side. 
and they're just super cute. I overwear them all the time. I think it is a great way to go out in active wear and kind of look a little bit more presentable because it has like, you know, patterns. I don't know what my reasoning behind it is. And then my other pair are, sometimes I like to get a little color in, like I showed you those purple-ish leggings and I also have a pair of green ones so I think it's good just to have some colors. I love this color though because I can get away with wearing yoga pants but looking way more put together when it's you know a color like this. I don't know why. I could just wear like a top, these green leggings and it looks super cute, feel more put together. It has a little stripe detail but usually I hide that by my shirt. And I love these. They're around the same price range as the other ones. I usually go between like eight and sixteen dollars around the price range of my typical leggings that I'll get when I go out. And these don't fit as well. They look super cute, but they don't stay up very well. So that's kind of the problem with these ones compared to my other ones. I don't have that problem with my other ones. They stay up very well. But for some reason, these ones do not stay up very well. So these are RBX and they, it says live life active. They're small and they are super cute. Just something I don't per se work out in just because of the fact they always fall down. So you ain't doing no squats in those. And then I think it's good to sometimes wear shorts in the gym. I don't do it often just because sometimes the shorts will ride up when I'm doing things or I just don't feel as comfortable because I'm not really at the, you know, place I want to be in the gym. But I don't think that should ever discourage you from doing anything. But it does sometimes discourage me from wearing shorts when it comes to the gym. But I think it's good to have a pair of baggy shorts. So because of that reason, if you're not always the most comfortable, sometimes it's good just to throw on something that you will be comfortable in until you know you build that confidence. And that confidence doesn't come from always, you know, getting the goals you want in the gym you know it's not doesn't come from losing weight or gaining muscle a lot of times it comes from just being more comfortable with yourself but before that happens wearing something that makes you feel comfortable in the gym so that you'll stay there do your workout is important so i have a pair of just shorts for those days where i really don't want to wear pants and they just look like this and they have the stripe down the side and i actually have no idea what brand or size they are because they're cut off i've had these shorts forever. The last item I am going to show you is going to be a jacket, but I did make a promise. I am going to show you the workout I find to be most beneficial for my glutes right in a second. Just hold on. I'm going to show you the jacket first. And this jacket right here, this is my third favorite purchase. First one will be the shoes. Second one will be the hat. And the third one will be this jacket right here. So this jacket right here is just a solid black active wear jacket. It has, you know, pockets on the side and then it has like, it's not per se a pocket. I don't think it's supposed to be a pocket anyway, but I use it as a pocket. It's so useful. It's just the attached fabric for the pocket. And on the inside, you can like stick your phone in it. And I find it better than the pocket on the outside because the pocket on the outside obviously is... It's on the side, so you stick your hand in like this instead of like this. And on the inside, it's like this. So I can just stick my, where's my phone? So I can just stick my phone downwards like that and it doesn't fall out because on the side angle like this, it falls out. So I would actually recommend getting two and I know that seems pretty silly to some people, but I think it'd be beneficial to have one that you work out in and one that you wear for not working out. Silly, I know, but the problem is when I wear it to work out and I get all sweaty in and it smells gross and it's not clean, I don't end up being able to wear it out side of the gym and I like wearing it outside of the gym. I think it looks cute wearing activewear outside and you don't have as many of these as you do in you know, like yoga pants. You just wear another pair of yoga pants. So that's why it's just like another pair of yoga pants. How about another jacket and specifically have a jacket for not working out so you can have one that doesn't smell bad and you can go on a date in your activewear jacket and not smell like you're just at the gym. So thank you for sticking to the end of this video. I am going to show you my workout in just a moment. But before I do that, again, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and join the crazy fam and I will see you every single week on Sunday for new videos. If you ever have any recommendations or things you want me to answer or talk about, feel free to message me or comment them down below. And now let's get into that workout that hopefully you will end up doing and getting a benefit from in addition to me. And 
we will challenge each other, motivate each other to keep sticking with going to the gym this year and not making it just a January resolutions type of thing. And let's just make it a lifestyle change that we stick with on a regular basis. And let's get into that workout. Let me help show you how to figure out this benefit official workout. Hold on, right now I'm trying to figure out what the technical name of this workout is. I know how to do it and I can show you how to do it, but I want to get you a name for it. And so I'm going to look for the technical name right now. Okay, this is not the name I was expecting. It kind of makes sense, but it's not what I was expecting. They are called donkey kicks. And this workout you do not need a gym for, you don't need resistance bands, you don't need anything for it. You can definitely work out this muscle in other ways with machines, with resistance bands. Doing this specific workout, I'm gonna show you with resistance band. But I don't do it at all with anything and I still find it gets me sore. So a lot of times I'll do it on workout days between the gym or I'll do it at the gym in addition to other things. But I am always no matter what if i do enough sets of them and i'm consistent with it i am always sore from it so i find that dog kicks are very beneficial what you're basically going to do is get on all fours and you're going to get comfortable sometimes i will put my arms down further and do it i find it just as you know, straining to do it, well not, I'm not straining is the right word, just as beneficial to do it down like this as I do to do it up like this. So whatever way is more comfortable for you, hold your arms straight, keep your back in a comfortable position. Don't, don't have your back cave inwards too much, but also don't have your back go up too much like you're a hunchback. Just have your spine relax. So you're already on your knees. You're gonna go ahead and bring one of your legs up and you're gonna have it basically flat with your back. It's not gonna be perfect, but almost flat with your back and sometimes going a little bit above if you can handle doing a little bit higher. You're not doing like a kip, kick up in the air, but a knee up in the air. So you're gonna go ahead and just swing your leg up, bring it up and comfortably sit it there, push it maybe a little bit higher, and then go back down. And you're gonna keep doing this, and what I'll end up doing is 10 to 20, depending on what I'm trying to accomplish that day. I'll do 10 to 20, and then sometimes instead of taking a rest between, I'll switch legs. So I'll do, um, let's just say 15. I'll do 15 on one leg, and then I'll bounce over to the other leg, do 15, and then go back. And I will do three for each leg, and I find this is so beneficial. It's great. I think it's important, though, to have a good pair of leggings for this so that you're comfortable and it's you can move. You need a lot of movement for this exercise because you are really moving that area a lot, and that is how you're going to get that benefit is by moving that section. So that is one of the most beneficial workouts. I've found um, if you have any tips or recommendations on workouts that you find to be very beneficial for that specific area you're welcome to comment them down below one of the other things I also find very beneficial about this workout is it works on my glutes but it doesn't hurt my knees so I have very bad knees and someone else um, watching you might have the same exact problem as me where a lot of these glutes workouts really put a strain on your knees and it hurts and it doesn't benefit you in the way it should like it hurts your knees instead of you know making your glutes sore from you know working them out and with the donkey kicks i find no knee pain at all yet i am still feeling it in my glutes i'm still getting a workout from it i'm still seeing growth from it so that is one of the reasons why i love that workout and you don't need any equipment you can do it your days where you can't go to the gym or if you don't have access to a gym at all you can still get benefits from your workouts and that is the end of today's video i hope you guys liked everything i got or got a little inspired to go shopping sorry about that and have a great rest of your day, night, morning, whatever it is for you. Have a good one, and I will see you next time. And just bring you along on my life. Oh, God. I'm wearing makeup, and I shrug my face. And it is like the... Oh, I don't know where the all came from.